Okay. Uh, did you have your hair, sir? Okay, real fast. Um, yes. Is it good for the world to betray you? Yes. And why? Because the greatest thing ever came from betrayal, which was Jesus dying for the sins. But um, also, it allows you to see that whoever betrayed you was too important. And it was actually a glass ceiling keeping you from the real thing, which is God, obviously. But it shows you that it's too important to you. Every, everything that Christ went through, in order for us to die, we got to go through it too. Because you see how your ego is attached to the world, people, places, and things. And so if you are betrayed, be glad to see that. I don't care who is doing it. Be glad because you'll see how you're reacting to it. If you feel anything about it, you get angry or you get happy or you get wish, I want to get back at them and all that, then there is something wrong with you. And you wouldn't know that it's the devil in that person. It's not that person. And that person cannot help themselves. And because of the devil in you and your little ego, you're judging them too. You're no better than a betrayer. And Christ went through that so that we, as James said, we will be able to do it. Christ overcame the world. And so can we because Christ was of the spirit of his father. Christ the man had allowed the spirit, well not allowed, but the spirit of God would put in him. And he's in us too, but we got to overcome the world. So from now on, from this day forward, whatever happened to you, let it happen. Meaning don't get mad about it. Don't worry about what others think about it. Do not protect the ego. And then that doesn't mean you're going to go out and hang out with the people who betrayed you because you would see the devil in, you, in them and you wouldn't want to hang out with them anyway. But you also see the devil in you because you got a feeling from it. Either a good feeling or a bad feeling. Both are egos. And that happens so you can overcome the world. You only want to have faith. You only want to have love and God. And, if you, and the only reason you're going to feel betrayed is because you're trying to get something from that person. Like she was saying about the preacher, she felt betrayed by the preacher his family or something, right? If she had not put the preacher on a pedestal and wasn't trying to get anything from the preacher, no matter who, she would have understood the preacher just a human being too, working on what I got to work on. And it wouldn't have been nothing. She would love to pre pray for the preacher instead of judging the preacher. Because she wasn't, it's the message Christ said in a movie I was watching last night. They, the disciple tried to get something from them or tried to put him on a person. He's like, I'm just a human being. I'm just a human being. Simon, whoever he was talking to, Thomas, one of those guys. And it's the Father, his spirit is in me. It's not me. I'm just a human being. And greater work shall y'all do too. Because the spirit of the Father in you. You are a human being. The pastor is a human being. The pastor wife is a human being. And so when you go, even Christ was a human being with the spirit of the Father in him. And he brought a message of freedom, of salvation, how to get it. But if you put Christ on the pedestal and call him God and all that, how are you going to get the message? Because as soon as Christ, and he made a lot of jokes. And as soon as he makes a joke, you're going to get mad at you. How are you going to make a joke? My daddy did, and he made a joke. Because you put the pastor on a pedestal. You put the preacher, uh, the preacher or, or Jesus on a pedestal. And in your idea, this, this Jesus better not make one mistake. Because he made a joke in this movie, and the guy didn't laugh. He's like, oh, I guess my joke was too soon. Or something like that. Because in, in the spirit, there's nothing that's serious at all. So from this year, starting now, if somebody hurts your feelings or makes you mad or makes you feel good or gossiping about you or whatever, let it happen. Don't protect it. Don't hide. Don't run. Just keep living your life. That needs to happen so you can overcome the world. All right? This young lady wanted the last word on that. What do th you think about that? Because some people get mad at somebody. They gossip about me. I ain't going around that no more. You hide in the ego. Go face it so you can overcome the world. And your faith will be in God. Yes. Well, I remember a time when I was betrayed. And as it was happening, I felt like I was outside of my body looking at it. And yeah. I didn't really have any feelings 
either way. Years later, the person reached out and wanted to extend the olive branch, and I welcomed this person back into my life with open arms. But the friendship could not move right. forward because she was so uncomfortable. She wanted me, and so did others, wanted me to be angry Absolutely. and wanted me to be a certain way, and she just couldn't handle the love, I think. That's why they do it. The devil wants to control you. The devil will not be comfortable around you if he can't control you. Meaning the devil inside of you and the devil outside of you inside of others. Isn't that amazing? Last quick word, Frankie. So one of the apostles in the Bible talked about it. Uh, he said, uh, count it joy when you have tribulation and, yeah. and works and to actually be happy when that is happening because it, it's, uh, it, it's trying your spirit and, be, and you're becoming more Christ-like uh, when you don't judge. I don't remember Absolutely. the apostle, but he, he said, uh, you know, it's a good so thing. So here's what I want to encourage you because we're going to be tough this year, right? We ain't going to play baby, baby no more. So the next time something happens and it affects you emotionally in any form or fashion, let it happen. And keep your eyes on you. Don't blame them. And you will overcome the world. And you'll be able to live in this world and not be affected by it at all. And, and the devil is going to tell you, what about your reputation? What about your this or that? That's the devil talking to you. You ain't got no reputation. You, you don't have any business thinking of yourself as anything anyway. It's just a word with no meaning. Um... Did I see your hand somewhere? Oh, okay. What's on your mind? You looking crazy. What? Oh, that's a real, real person. What, what's wrong? Oh, I was just thinking about what you were saying. Uh, and what about it? Uh, like keeping your eyes on yourself and letting go. And what do you think about that? It's hard. It's hard? Mm -hmm. And only hard because, oh, like, like the fat person was saying they did something different, mm -hmm. but they're going to start working out. You know, you're right. So do something different so it is hard because you've been doing it the wrong way but i think in the moment like when you're actually in the moment i think it's really hard it's only hard because you have not it's like lifting weights in the very moment the weight is heavy and hard right mm -hmm. but once you do it, it get easy so if you start doing it the other way mm -hmm. then eventually the weight get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter i'm going to practice this week yeah so next time your husband makes you mad don't, don't, don't go, why you made me mad? You put pressure on me. You feel it. <laughs> and, be, and be grateful. Okay. And don't complain about it. Don't even say anything about it. Okay. Stop protecting the devil. Okay. Let's do it the other way now. Instead of complaining about it, trying to get rid of the problem real fast, trying to feel good and all that. That ain't going to never work. It's only making you worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so stop rolling your eyes. Okay. <laughs> She's going to look like this. <laughs> Can I get out of here? I, I've seen that before. So. <laughs> nice. Yes, last word. So, like, say, like, you realize, oh, like, I'm getting emotion about, emotional about this, yes. right? Do you point it out? Can you point it out, or should no. you just let it slide? Take it, let it slide. Okay. Don't point it out, oh, you're making me emotional. Or, oh, honey, I feel emotion. No. Let the light defeat the darkness. That's a good question. No, don't, don't even point it out that he's hurting you emotionally. Don't even point out, you put too much stress on me. Because if you were, one, if you were whole, no such thing as too much stress being put on you. It's only that way because you're divided. I, yeah. I ask that because, like, for example, my... My um, husband's parents, my in-laws, they, like, he kind of picks on her, right? Like, picks on well, who? Uh, my mother-in-law. Oh, so your father-in-law picks on your mother-in-law. Right, right. Okay. Like, you know, oh, you didn't cook enough, or oh, you cooked too much, or whatever. So I realized, like, my husband kind of does that to me. But he will say, oh, why does, like, oh, you know, oh, my mom's irritated because whatever, whatever. And then, but I don't think he realized that sometimes he does it to me. And I realize like it's, I do realize like, oh, wow, look, I'm feeling a, about this, right? And I go, okay, I need to get over that. But then I did point it out because, well, you're doing the same thing that your 
dad does. Well, that's okay to say that. Okay. That's but I what thought I mean. you were trying to point it out so that you can feel better about the stress yeah. stuff he's putting on you. Yeah, okay. You want to feel the stress so you can overcome it. And you're going to see it's not you. But if he's like doing exactly what his father is doing, right. you're just like your daddy, man. Yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. You're just like your daddy, honey. <laughs> yeah. Right? 